And what do you expect this summer to result in? Well, we really don't know, but I think this is a key time for President Trump to challenge Kim Jong-un. Is he really serious about giving up his nuclear weapons? If he is, then he ought to be prepared to demonstrate that and do more than just talk. Talk has been fine so far, but now he needs to be demonstrating he's going to do something. Historically, North Korea has made lots of commitments, and they've almost always reneged. And so this is a time for President Trump to push him. What makes this time any different from the last time, Bruce? I, I suppose, you know, we've been talking about this throughout the course of the morning and there is some concern that Donald Trump has already given. In fact, let me just uh, break into our conversation there for a moment, uh, Bruce. We are looking at live pictures there of US President Donald Trump shaking hands now with Singapore Prime Minister Lee. We know that they just had a bilateral meeting. They are at Astana at the uh, uh, presidential building here in Singapore. All of this, of course, taking place ahead of the Trump-Kim summit, which happens at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. That is the press running to get another picture. Everybody there working hard and, and doing their jobs. But that was a live picture there and a very quick handshake that we just saw of Prime Minister, of President Donald Trump, um, excuse me, and uh, Singapore Prime Minister Lee following their bilateral meeting, which uh, happened in the last uh, half an hour or so. All right, uh, let me get back now to Bruce Bennett, who's standing by for us uh, live from, from RAND. Bruce, we were just discussing uh, what you actually saw as the outcome for the meeting being, and you were saying, you know, we have had these discussions before, we've heard about uh, North Korea agreeing to do something, and then they haven't followed through. Uh, what, in your mind, makes this time different? Well, this is the first time a North Korean leader has said he's really prepared to give up his nuclear weapons to the South Koreans in particular, and they've said, yeah, we think they really are. We think they are, are being truthful in saying this. Um, and so now is the test. Now is the test to see whether or not Kim Jong-un is speaking truthfully or whether he is simply trying to set up President Trump or cause other difficulties. Bruce, it's Nancy here, and part of the difficulty with understanding whether or not North Korea will stick by the willingness to denuclearize is that verifiable component of CVID that the U.S. is sticking by. Based on what you know, how difficult will it be to get into the country, to get the necessary inspectors then, to verify whether or not denuclearization has completely taken place? Well, we need to start with the declaration of what North Korea has done. That will be hard to get. North Korea hides a lot of its program and will probably continue to try hiding it. Then actually getting the inspectors in to check those facilities, to check their weapons, this will be very, very difficult. North Korea has multitude of places to hide things and it's pretty clear we don't know where everything is. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.